This video has been brought to you by the Landscape Certified Contractors Association. Due to the membership support, we're able to bring content to each and every one of you. If you have a topic or a product you'd like us to review, or if you want to become a member, visit www.irrigatortech.com and hope to hear from you soon. Enjoy the video. Yeah, this is Richard Daigle from Green Industry News, and we trimmed a couple sago palms that you might see in some of our videos and where we pulled off the seeds. And what I did is I stuck them inside of a Home Depot bucket or this big orange bucket here. And anything that floats, like these, these are all floating. So by putting the seeds in, they float, then that means they're not going to really produce. They're not going to come out. They're not going to produce. These are not one reason or another it's not going to come up. So I'll take all these out and then I'm going to reach my hand inside and there's going to be these seeds. Now all I got to do, what I got to do is take off this outside coating. So then they'll be ready. So I let them sit in the water for a week or so and then I'm peeling off. See I just push them and it comes right off. And now this seed's ready to be set aside and be able to germinate so I can plant it and we'll do that video coming up but now I just wanted to be able to show you so what you do is you take the seeds you wash them off you soak them you peel back the ones that sunk like these did they're gonna be ready to go the ones that didn't nope see the peels just came right off of them or they're not gonna be able to uh, put out little sago babies and that's what we're hoping for. So we got three right there. Oh, not that one. Let's go here. Yep. If not, it's going to be really hard to get this, this shell off. It really hardens. It's very hard to get off. But by soaking it, I can be able to get this off with my hands. Scrape it with my nail a little bit, get it all looking okay. Got another one. See, it's just like that. Push on it, peel it like you would be peeling any other kind of fruit, but this is a baby sago. And then we're going to put them in some really neat stuff and have them so will kind of track their little life and create something which you can do from your house with your kids and be able to go wow look what we did and people love sagos and you can give them out as gifts to people and people just go oh my gosh because they only grow an inch per year width and height so I mean this can stay in your family for a long time now wherever you put this bucket you want to make sure no other animals get to so when you have these seeds when they come out they're around the top and you don't want any dogs to get to them if a dog if you know somebody picks it up and throws it in the yard or it falls they're playing around if the dog chews it it will kill them it'll make them really really sick and the odds of them coming back can be really devastating so we want to make sure that when the seeds are there, make sure no animals can get to them. Pick them. Get them off. I think I've almost got them here. We've got one more here. These are all rotted. Nothing uh, really came out. So, you know, a lot of times you can pick a whole bunch of seeds. 30, 40 seeds, 50 seeds and you get five or six. So we had a whole bunch in here and uh, now we peeled them. They're nice size so we'll see how good we should be able to because they sank down and then we got the skins off them. Now we're going to stick them in a nice little area and let them propagate. So this is kind of fun and it's fun for your kids to be able to see it it's already starting. So I'm going to set. So all I got is these little babies right here. What do I got here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13. But that's 13 new sago palms that the world can enjoy. 
So we'll do our best. We'll plant these up, and I'll show you in an upcoming video. They're going to be laying on some nice uh, soil, and we're going to treat them really good and take care of them and see them pop out with new little baby fronds, and we'll be able to plant them in soil and be able to give them out as gifts to others to be able to enjoy sago palms. This is a great thing to do with your kids, teaching them about the sago palm, looking up the sago palm on um, any of your YouTube or anything that we have, and be able to do some research and do a little paper on it. It is just so nice to be able to create life with your children and see how important plants are in the world. And um, it's just awesome, I think and we love it at the Green Industry News. If you have any other plants or any questions on sago palms or any plants that we do, make sure that you uh, subscribe and type your little fingers in and tell us stuff. If you have experiences and great stories to talk about sago palms, make sure that you express to everybody good things, growing habits, anything that you have on sago palms, make sure you subscribe and make a little note so you can share with the world today. Thank you, Green Industry News, this is Richard Daigle. We'll talk to you in our next video. Thank you, bye-bye.